Okay, this is the first trail. We are attempting to go to the top of Tunnel Mountain. <laughs> this is me right now. I want to do it. We are in Banff and I'm seeing mountains for the first time in my life. Okay, so we're going up to those rocks way up there. How much longer? 16 minutes? One bend, one bend, oh, and then we're at the top. I can do 16 more minutes, okay. Oh my god, this is so much harder than I thought, and like before I came, we like tried training a little bit or whatever for BAMF, but this is just not what I had. I was like, oh, it's just a mountain. It's not that hard. Okay, so far so good. No sign of smog. Um, smog in my lungs though, you know what I'm saying? I, it's been very <laughs> difficult. Oh my god, is this it for me? What if I just... Oh my god. Pay twenty five thousand dollars. No, why are you so big? No, we did it. We reached the top. I'm back from a very long day. I wanted to properly just say hi to this vlog. I am in Banff. My boyfriend and I are in Banff for um, almost a whole week. I am exhausted. It's now 7 p.m. and we have been out since 9. So yesterday we flew out, which was okay. The plane was so uncomfortable. I had not been on a plane in a good five years, I want to say, was my last plane ride. Um, but that was okay, but then we had to wait in the airport for two hours because we missed our shuttle um, And then I got the next shuttle and then the shuttle because you have to fly into Calgary We are in Alberta if I haven't already said um, Banff is in Alberta and so is Calgary. I just bought this From the grocery store just because I wanted something other than water. This is Rocky Mountain Tizan Oh, that's oh. Well, why does this taste like olives? Okay, I'm kind of uh, kind of tastes like cough syrup. Our schedule today: we woke up early, we got breakfast at this place called White Bark Cafe, which is right next to the restaurant, and that was really nice. They had really, really amazing vegan options. We went and climbed Tunnel Mountain, which you guys would have seen us struggling up, which was pretty hard. Um, actually, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. We got there 
it was like very hard at first and then not so hard, but I have now officially climbed a mountain. Cannot communicate to you in any words or in any shots I take like how insane the Rockies are. Um, I have never seen anything like this in my life. It's It just feels like I'm in a fantasy novel. It feels like I'm in Lord of the Rings. It feels like it's not even real. Every time I look out the window, I get like, I, I, I re-know that I'm here and it's just insanity. We came back to the hotel for a little bit. We went out to lunch at Earl's, which is really good. There we got the Impossible Burger, which was good. Something that has been just like, I'm just a little confused about it. I think it's so cool, but I'm like a little like, what, how did this come about? Every server we've had, every cashier we've had, almost every single person working here is from New Zealand. They have a wonderful New Zealand accent. Why are you all from New Zealand here? It's really cool. And it's not, I didn't expect that at all. It's just so random. It's now 7 p.m. because we went and did the Bow River Walk here, which was really nice as the sun was setting. I think we might later do a kayak or no. You want to do canoe. I want a kayak. I really like kayaking, but he's scared of kayaks. My Apple Watch thinks I'm on absolute crack. I have taken 24,000 steps today. Yeah, right? Thank you. We walked 16 kilometers today. You're beautiful. Are you gonna bring me something shiny? Oh, I'm so happy. I've always wanted to meet a magpie. Okay, so it's a lot later in the day and we just had dinner, but we are now walking down by the river in Banff and I can say it is physically going to hurt me to leave this place. Like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go back. I just don't have any words. Like, look, look. The mountain just fell over. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I'm on the way to destroy- oh my god, look at that mountain. I'm on the way to destroy the One Ring 
and I can't fail. That's gonna be my mantra. This looks like a freaking granola bar commercial. Get off the roof. So we've now come up so much that everything's covered in snow. Ooh. All the ground is covered in snow. Okay, so we've made it to Lake Agnes. Oh my god. There is a tea house here, but we do not have cash because we do not carry cash. Are you kidding? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, I'm not gonna get back on the plane. I'm just not gonna get back on the plane, and that's it. Two and a half hour hike, and then we have two and a half to get back down. Back down is really dicey. People are, people are wiping out. People are having falls because the whole, um, it's just very slippy snow right now. It's like icy snow, so. I'm like the happiest I've ever been right now in my whole life. <laughs> oh, look at it, the frozen waterfall. You see that one? This is literally the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, All right, so, oh, you probably can't hear me. We started all the way down there. That is the parking lot. And <laughs> now we have to make it. All the way back down there. <laughs> My legs! We've been going for four hours. <laughs> Ooh, mama. Good morning! Welcome to Friday. Yesterday morning, I guess I was just so tired because essentially I was like scrambling to make us coffee before we went to Lake Louise and got on the shuttle and <laughs> what I did, because there's a coffee maker in the room, um, I made one cup of coffee and then there's like two black mugs and then essentially I went to pour the water in for the next coffee but instead of pouring the mug with the water in it into the coffee maker I poured the mug with the already made boiling coffee into the coffee maker and the coffee maker like spluttered and made all these noises and I was just like oh that's weird because like it was dark in here I was literally it was 5 a.m my time so I was just like <laughs> not really in it but then I went to pour milk into the coffee that I thought I made, but I ended up pouring the milk into the mug with just the water in it. And then that's when I realized because it just like looked awful. And I was like, what have I done? So I ran to the bathroom with the coffee maker, poured out the coffee that I had just put in it back into the mug. But then I dropped the coffee maker on the bathroom floor and the coffee went everywhere. It was just, it was just, I, there's, I was struggling. I was really struggling. Yesterday was just so, 
so amazing. Um, and I did buy a book because there was a bookstore at the Fairmont um, Hotel because there's a hotel right on Lake Louise Lakeshore. Um, I think it's a pretty famous hotel, but they had a bookstore. So I will show you the book that I got. The Hot Tub on the Roof would be the goal today because we didn't, oh, that's the thing I went to tell you. We didn't get to do that last night to soak our poor bones and muscles because WestJet called, WestJet called and our flight got canceled. Um, our flight home got canceled. Uh, I don't think I'll be flying WestJet again. Like it's just not been a stellar experience as well. I did make the mistake of booking the tickets through Expedia, which I've now learned my lesson. My partner wanted to do them like direct through Air Canada. Should have listened to him, um, but I didn't. And I booked them through Expedia. So essentially we just spent like two hours on the phone with WestJet last night trying to reschedule, seeing what we want to do because they rescheduled us on a flight a day later so we'd be leaving on monday instead of sunday essentially what we've decided to do is stay a day longer and then we just rebooked our shuttle back to calgary as well as um we went downstairs last night at like midnight and asked the hotel if we could stay another night and they said yes and yeah it's all good this is the book that i picked up from um the store it's called mountain lights bookstore um, and it's just like literally right in the Fairmont or Fairview. Is it called Fairmont or Fairview? I forget the hotel, but it's Icefields by Thomas Wharton. And I actually had heard of this before. Um, essentially, the bookstore there has a lot of Canadian authors, a lot of books about the Rockies, which this one is, um, a lot of books about mountains. It has a whole Tolkien section. It also has a whole indigenous section. And it was just really, really, really great, a really cute little bookstore. But this one I had heard about in um, Molly of the Mall, actually which you guys know I read a few months ago now. They publish a lot of Canadian works and this one I had written down because I saved it and then I saw it um, in the bookstore and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna buy that. So this one is set in 1898 and we follow Dr. Edward Byrne who is on um, vacation or I guess exploring the Canadian ice fields, which I think there's like a map, but they're close to Jasper, which we're not going to, um, but he falls into a crevice and he's like unconscious but then like while he's down there he discovers something that it says links him to the ice fields forever so um and then he spends the rest of his life like trying to uncover the secret of the ice fields or something um it just sounded really interesting and the lady in the bookstore said this was fantastic so i've already started reading it just a little bit this morning with my coffee outside but that is um that one i'm so happy i got a book here yeah i'm just so thrilled because you guys know i love books about winter ice mountains and it's just surreal to be like reading this staring at a snow-capped mountain that is the other thing i wanted to say was that um hiking yesterday at lake agnes there's a waterfall up there and like i finally understood the formation and like the physicality of the book the ice palace because highly would recommend this book but this is a book about a frozen waterfall um, and I was just like, how does that work? There's a lot of description in this book that is very hard to picture that I couldn't really get in my head right until I saw it yesterday because of course some of the waterfall had frozen and like you could see um, water was going down into this cavern that was half frozen and I was like, oh, that is the ice palace. Like that is an ice palace. Um, and it was just so cool. To see that and it just made this book so so much better because i read this in january it's probably one of my favorite reads of the year we are on the bow river we made it we've been going for like half an hour now i really want to see a moose I don't think I'm gonna see a moose. I think I'm being way too noisy. Okay, so we were just about to go on a trail 
in here. Um, and then some lovely tourists stopped us because there is a grizzly bear in there right now. Um, so we're just gonna turn around and maybe, maybe not do that. Oh my God. I'm really shook because last night I had a dream about grizzly bears. Did I not tell you that? I, what did I literally say this morning? Like we were just about to go in there. And this morning I legitimately had a dream about three baby grizzly cubs and two moms that were attacking my house for some reason. The park ranger lady is going in with her gun. So we're just gonna go the other way, I guess. We're just gonna walk the other way. Wow, thank you kind Italian tourists. Good morning, today is Saturday, I think. And we are just about to head out to catch the bus to go to Sulphur Mountain, which is just another mountain in the area. I think it's pretty close and there's a gondola there and stuff like that. Um, I'm very excited because we just read an article that said there's six grizzly bears in the area, in the valley. I just think that's really cool. Um, obviously I don't want to see one up close. And there's like a warning, I think, or something, wouldn't they say? For the town of Canmore, um, which is a little bit away, it's like the next town over, um, because there's a one grizzly bear there hunting little baby elks. Little baby elk? Elk calves? Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna go catch the bus and do another mountain today. I feel like it's startlingly easy to fall off the side. Like, excuse me? Good morning, so I just woke up. Today is our last full day here um, and I'm so happy because I guess it rained last night but there is an insane amount of mist on the mountains. We are a little unsure of what our plans are today. Some of them have actually been dashed because of the whole bear thing. Um, yeah, so as you guys saw last night we did try to go on one of the trails here in town called the Fenland Trail and then today I wanted to do Lake Minnewanka which is one of the biggest lakes in the Rockies, I believe. Um, and I think it's only like a 25 minute bus ride, but we looked it up and there's like an advisory and restriction and like they ask that you travel in groups of four hikers and that you definitely have bear spray because Lake Minnewanka is like um, just on the edge of one of the biggest areas for grizzly bears in the Bow Valley. Right now all the bears are apparently coming down to eat the bison berries around Lake Minnewanka um, and they have obviously their babies with them so that's not super safe so we're not going to do Lake Minnewanka. Our plan right now is just breakfast and then we are also going to go I think this morning to the Cave and Basin which is another historic site. It looks like one of our flights home might get delayed again 
Um, I'm really hoping not because I think Ontario might be having severe thunderstorms. Um, that's the other thing. I'm not looking forward to going back to the humidity something. There was just so much I didn't know before coming to the mountains and the Rockies and stuff, but one of them is just the air. It's just the humidity. The, what humidity? There's no humidity. Ontario is so sticky, so hot, so incredibly humid. Um, but here it's just wonderful, although that does mean that basically both of our entire bodies have just like dried out. It's insane how chapped and upset my lips are um, and how quickly it happened. It was like a day and a half after getting here. We were both like, what is going on? Like, I need lip chap. Like, what is happening? Um, and then my hair is so brittle. I usually have very oily skin, but even after a day like working out, doing activity, like no oil. It is insane. It's just so dry. I'm a little sad on this our last day here, but definitely very um, excited to be home as well because there's going to be a lot of fun things happening at home. Um, this month, yeah. So anyway, let's go to a cave. Okay, so we are done at the cave and basin now, and we're gonna do, I think, a trail around here. Um, <laughs> like a little, little nervous. <laughs> we decided to turn around, but we've lost our fellow horsemen. And the horse lady said, as soon as we saw her, she like screamed, this is the place where we see bears. <laughs> We just freaked each other out so much. But I'm the camera woman, I'm the cameraman, camera person, so I'll be okay. One final update from Banff. It's currently 9 o'clock on the night before we have to leave. I think we have to get up at like 4.30 a.m. tomorrow to catch the shuttle back to Calgary. But um, what did we do today? Today was just kind of a more relaxed day for sure. We went to the cave and basin, which you guys saw, which was really cool. Um, and the bears, I guess, just seemed to be following us around because as we left um another park ranger came with like a tranquilizer and stuff so i guess there was a bear i don't know if it was a black bear or a grizzly but um just as we were leaving so and then we came back i had a two-hour nap i've just this trip has just exhausted me so much i think i have a big sunburn all over my face right now i just packed up all of my things and i think i'm just gonna sit in bed for a little bit and read some of ice fields which is actually really good and i got 70 
75 pages through this and I am loving it so much and it's just been so great to read it well like literally looking at the things around like what they're describing and stuff so that's what I'm gonna do but it's been an amazing trip and I hope our travel day tomorrow goes as smoothly as possible so yeah I guess I'll see you bright and early. Mm -hmm.